I want an address, honey. I can't. Listen. I'll find them anyway, right? It's just quicker if you tell me. Honey. I can't. No, Benny, don't go. Please don't go. Come on, even you've got to admit, something happened here tonight. All of this. Like, I should... I should be dead or in a coma or something. So what? So? I don't know. Maybe this is like a... Maybe it's like a sign. It's like an intervention. It's like a chance for you and me Have to... Have a nice life, honey. So where the hell is she, then? Well, I don't know. I'm not paid to look for missing doctors, am I? Jordan's gonna go and spare. <laughs> Are you planning on coming back? Uh, plane to catch, sir. Right, well, it's just that we've got a few more tests to run on your sister. I thought you might want to hang around just in case. Well, according to your old mate, I've got nothing to worry about. There's a higher power at work, apparently. Well, he gets a bit carried away sometimes, that's all. What about you? You think her coming back was a miracle? No. No miracles here, mate. Just uh, plain old-fashioned luck. Yeah, she always did lead a charm life. They turned up last night, two days early. Brian didn't want to get caught in the traffic. Now I've got to put up with them. Don't get me wrong, Susan's OK when Brian lets her speak. And Beth, well, Beth's just great. I would have be five again at Christmas, eh? <laughs> but Brian, God, talk about the glasses half empty. <laughs> I sometimes wonder if that hospital swapped him at birth. Henry. Are we going to spend the entire night just talking? Oh, I bloody hope not. Now, where were we? You've got to be joking, Dick. Where am I supposed to find all that? Well, supermarket, most of it. But there's a couple of ingredients you might have to source. Do you hear that, Tobes? Sauce. Sauce. We're not just shopping for ingredients now, my son. Oh, no, no, no. We're sourcing. Will you stop moaning? This is all for you, you know. You won't be complaining when you see the spread I've got planned for you. Oh, no, you are going to thoroughly enjoy yourself. Parsnips. Right, since when did Dixie become the homemaker? Oh, I don't know. She's got it into her head we're going to have a traditional family Christmas, you know. Me, her, the hound, hmm? Pooch. What? Dog. Ah, right, like a strange little family. Hmm. You work in late shift Christmas, yeah? Hmm. What are you doing in the day? Don't know, probably watching cartoons. Ah, change of plan, my son. You're coming round to ours. Get yourself a nice bit of Christmas dinner. Ruth? Uh, no, thanks. I've got other things I'd rather be doing than spending Christmas with workmates. Actually, I was just going to say hello. Oh, uh, Doc, there was a call out for you about uh, two hours ago. Everything all right? Why, what's the problem? Uh, Jessica was brought in. She's had a bit of a fall. Is she OK? Yeah, I think so. They've taken her for a scan. <laughs> Jordan wasn't best pleased, mind. Oh, that's all I need. I tell you, the sooner I am free of that man, the better. And yet I suspect that we'll miss each other in our own way. You could have warned me. It's like he appeared out of thin aim. Two-hour break. Impressive even for you, Dr. Hannah. Well, there was an emergency at home. It was personal. I'd have been back earlier, but the ring road was backed up. Apparently some reindeer have escaped from City Farm. Reindeer? According to the radio. Um, these, uh, reindeer, you don't want to know if it was a Canadian or a Scandinavian reindeer, do you? Yeah. It's, it's probably not important. I'm in a dilemma, Dr. Hannah, because on one hand, I too share the relief that we will soon not be working together, and yet on the other, I fear for your boss in ITU. Oh, I wouldn't worry. Really not your problem. Maybe you're right. But you know what squash partners are like. They do like to talk a lot about work. Enjoy the rest of your shift. I never saw her again. <laughs> Can you believe it? Just filling your brother in on my misspent youth. Wigan Casino and all that. Never had you down as a gambler. Uh, no, it was a nightclub. <laughs> he has new tasting music. <laughs>
Surgery went well, I hear. No complications. Yeah, so they tell me. Actually, I just wanted to have a Yeah, yeah, absolutely. See you later, Alice. Thank you. Adam, what with the surgery, I'm pretty tired, so if you were looking to pick up where we left off, then... I left a message for Molly. Well, you put up more of a fight, but thanks. Mind if I ask you what changed your mind? A couple of things. This, uh... This problem we have, uh... My attitude to what's happening to you. It's gonna take a little while for me to sort that out, but... But I plan to be here, whether you like it or not. Okay. And the other thing? <laughs> How are you with surprises? What lights off? Oh, Henry, you're getting prudish in your old age. That's not like you. <laughs> <laughs> and no socks. What's the special occasion then? <laughs> <laughs> Henry? <laughs> Henry, stop missing. <laughs> Dixie Hip. Oh. Tess, this is Henry. He will be She's okay, won't he? He's complaining of chest pains and he's in beat. Oh, no, no, okay. Are you ready on three then, please? Two, three, oh. one, two. Oh. Yeah. That's Henry. Henry. Henry, can you hear me? Uh, I take it you're not family. Uh, um, uh, not exactly, no. Uh, right, well, if you could give the receptionist as many details as you can, they can contact the relatives. Kath, I need 300 milligrams uh, of IV over 20 minutes, and let's be ready to shock him if it gets any worse. Uh, yeah. She hasn't said anything to you? Not in so many ways. Well, how many ways are there to tell someone that might be a dad? Earlier in the, in the car park, we had this conversation. My head was in other things, which was your fault. She was talking about family and kids and asked me how I felt about it all. No, I bet I can guess what you said. Well, if I'd known I was being vetted for my suitability as a dad, I would have chosen my answers more carefully. Oh, so I say she spoke about kids in the car park. It doesn't mean it's yours. <laughs> Only met her once, but yeah, she doesn't seem the sort to keep something like that from you. Ah, uh, just because... She's got some strange ideas about doing the right thing. Mm, can you see why that'd be strange to you? No, I mean, she has a husband, she has kids. Yeah, she could be protecting them, she could be protecting the baby. <laughs> Even me. I just don't know what to do. Well, would it make any difference if the baby was yours? What kind of a question is that? Of course it would. Okay, only one thing you can do. Go find out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. How is he? They said it was his heart. He suffered an episode of BT, which is an abnormal heart rhythm, but we've managed to stabilize it. But he is going to be all right, isn't he? Well, he'll need monitoring for a while, but he should be fine. You'll be able to talk to him soon. Actually, would you tell him that I'll call him later? It's just that, um,. I just, I've got to, I've got to be somewhere. Of course you have. Excuse me. Is there something on your mind? No, 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 it's fine. I mean, you have to go. I'm not making any judgments. No, no, of course you're not. Come on, out with it. What is it you want to say to me? I'm guessing they're your work clothes and your coat. My work clothes. Tell me, are you normally this much of a bitch? Are you just making an exception for me? Uh, yes, if you'd like to speak I am the bitch Dr. who saved your client's life. <sighs> Henry Jack, I'm his son. We were told he was brought in here. Is he OK? Yeah, he's recovering in recess at the moment. and He's suffered an episode of VT and will need to be referred to the cardiologist for... Sorry. Um. Brian? What is it? Who are you? I'm Brian's mum. Plenty of sugar. Um, I made a few calls. Vince was taken to St. James. There's no one else involved. Please just think he took a bend too fast. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Hey. I'm sorry. What are you sorry about? They lost the baby. It was an accident. <laughs> if anyone's to blame, it's me. You're tired. You're exhausted. I should have seen that. 